Hi folks, it's good to be with you. Love to everybody out there. Um, I'm going to make a series of videos today. Um, one uh, devotional on this book by John Piper. And then I've got a series of videos that I want to make from this book, The Battle of the Bible by David Marshall. Um, I don't agree with everything in this book, but it's a very helpful book to look at the history of uh, the Bible. So we'll look at some things from there. And then I'd like to do some videos on uh, Islam uh, and some historical studies. So my website is jasonversepreacher.com. You can get me on Twitter and Facebook. And we're looking at John Piper's book, uh, Battling on Belief. So we're looking at dealing with anxiety. So I'll pray and ask the Lord's blessing. Father, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for your love and your grace. And Father, I just pray that this video would be edifying to us all, and would be an encouragement to us all. And I just pray that you bless this video in your name, for your glory. Amen. 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 So, John Piper um, gives some scripture here to help us to believe in the future, that God's going to bless us in the future, and that we're to hold on to promises, that God's given us promises, and we have to hold on to these promises. So Philippians 4.19, my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. So we have to meditate on that and think about, well, in the future and now, God's going to supply my need. Psalm 23, 6, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Psalm 84, 11, no good thing does he withhold from those who walk uprightly. Luke 12, 32, it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Isaiah 41, 10, one of my favourites, I am your God, I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous hand. 1 Corinthians 3, 21, 23, all things are yours, the world are or life or death, or the present or future, all are yours, and you are Christ, and Christ is God's. Romans 8, 28, for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. Romans 8, 28. And I am with you always to the end of the age. Matthew 28, 20. And Romans 8, 38, 39, neither death nor life, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. He says, being satisfied, page 15, being satisfied with all that God promises to be for us in Jesus Christ is the essence of faith in future grace. Keep in mind that when I speak of faith in future grace or satisfaction in what God promises to be for us, I am assuming that an essential part of that faith and that satisfaction is an embrace of Christ as our sin-bearing substitute whose perfect obedience to God is imputed to us through faith. In other words, faith in the future grace embraces the ground of all the promises as well as the promises themselves. It treasures Christ as the one whose blood and righteousness provides the foundation for all future grace. And, its treasure, and it treasures all that God now promises to be for us in Christ because of that foundational work. Whenever I speak of faith as being satisfied, with all God is for us in Jesus, I am including all of this in that faith. So more scripture. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Psalm 56 verse 3. Cast all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. 1 Peter 5 7. Therefore do not be anxious that we shall eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear. For the Gentiles seek after all these things. And your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. Matthew 6, 31, 32. Um, John Piper talks about a number of promises that we can think about if we're dealing with anxiety. Number one, promise one. Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you shall eat or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will put on. 
Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Matthew 6.25 This is an argument from the greater to the lesser. If God does the greater, then doing the lesser is all the more sure. In this verse, the greater thing is that God has given us life and bodies. These are vastly more complex and difficult to maintain than mere provision of clothing, yet God has done it. Therefore, how much more easily can God provide us with food and clothing? Moreover, no matter what happens, God will raise your body someday and preserve your life for the eternal fellowship. Promise 2. Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Matthew 6, 28, 26. If God is willing and able to feed such significant, insignificant creatures as birds, who can do anything to bring, who can do who cannot do anything to bring their food into being, as you can by farming, then he will certainly provide what you need because you are worth a lot more than birds. Promise 3. Which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? Why are you anxious about clothing? Matthew 6, 27, 28. This is a promise of sorts, a simple promise of reality. Anxiety will not do any good. It is not the main argument. But sometimes we just have to get tough with ourselves and say, Saul, this fretting is absolutely useless. You're not only messing up your day, but a lot of other people's as well. Leave it with God and get on with your work. Anxiety accomplishes nothing worthwhile. So, we'll just pray. And I just pray that you would get hold of this book. It's it's a... Uh, Battling Unbelief by John Piper. If you go on to Desiring God Ministries, I think you can download it for free, or you can listen to his talks on the book. And it, it's published by uh, Mult Norma, Mult Norma, but also Desiring God pub, uh, have it on PDF, I think, uh, on their website. So that's the book. So go on to Desiring God Ministries and, and you can read the book or listen to the talks. But if you're suffering with anxiety, um, he deals with anxiety, pride, shame, impatience, covetousness, bitterness, despondency and lust. And it's a really, really, I've only read the first two chapters and I, I, it really lifts you. Uh, it, it's saturated with scripture and it's saturated with God and I guarantee anybody who gets this book will be so blessed and so encouraged by this book, it really, you really will. Excellent book, really good book. So I'm just going to pray and in the next video we're just going to look at this book and some of the issues in this book and I uh, hope it's a blessing, let's pray. Father, I just pray for all of us today if we suffer from anxiety. Lord, forgive us our sin, forgive us our failure. And help us, O oh Lord, to, to walk your way. And help us, O oh Lord, to rest in you today. Be with each person today, and may they just know your comfort today. May they know your help today. May they know your strength today. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you.